Hey friends, we've got something to talk about today and it's primarily the fact that Nvidia basically pulled the wool over everybody's eyes who thought that the pricing structure of the new RTX 20 series cards was so high because Nvidia was simply replacing the Titan and shifting everything up a tier. They took the 2070 and put it in the 80 class tier. They took the 2080 and put it in the 80 Ti tier. Then the 2080 Ti became the brand new Titan, which is why they could say it costs $1,200. And now we have evidence that that's just a whole load of malarkey and that Nvidia actually doesn't give a crap about how much they're pricing their graphics cards. And in fact, just wants to milk every single cent out of us. So the reason I'm bringing this up now is because it kind of ties into a really weird social media campaign that appears to be going on by Nvidia. I'm like, if, not sure whether or not this is a paid marketing promotion or if there's like an embargo that like dictated that you couldn't talk about it, but you could only show it off because we have a whole bunch of evidence that the new Titan RTX is officially out. I got a message from one of the guys here on the team last night showing us that Dead Mouse had tweeted out a picture of the new Titan in like on top of his system. But then apparently that was just the tip of the iceberg because there's Linus and Jace Two Cents and a whole bunch of other people showing off the Titan in the same exact way. So that's that's where I'm like, I'm not sure if this is a marketing campaign or if this is just some sort of odd embargo that we just happened to stumble in on. And since I didn't get a Titan RTX, I don't know anything about. So let us let me show you the evidence that we have for the card first, and then we can go ahead and talk about the stupidity that lies behind it and the fact that Nvidia is just screwing everybody. So first up, let's start with the tweet that got my initial attention. So we have this tweet here from Dead Mouse showing off the Titan V, the Titan X, and then also the brand new Titan that you can see lying on top of his case, which is interesting because the 2080 Ti is on the Titan box, and then the new Titan has has the exact same Founders Edition cooler as the current RTX cards. So very clear, that's a brand new card. That's what got my confusion. I tweeted out about it myself, show, just stating that like, I have no idea that this hasn't been announced, to which a lot of you replied, yeah, that's been happening all day. Thanks for letting me know. So then we have here on the WAN show yesterday, Linus at two different points takes the RTX card from off the screen, brings it onto the screen, and then is like, oops, I didn't mean to. Seems very nonchalant. He's acting as if he didn't mean to pick up a giant heavy box sitting right next to him and then show it off to everybody, but he kind of did, and so that's what happened. Then we also have the co-founder of Coursera tweeting out about trying out some new hardware to reduce landing lights inference time, inference time, sorry, excuse me, and you can see that it's the brand new Titan with the new cooler in that system right there. Then we got Gavin Free from the Slow Mo Guys tweeting a picture with what looks to be in his kitchen with a cat in front of a brand new Titan in his system with with a blue Fantex cooler. That looks kind of okay. And then we also have Jay's Two Cents in his cutting open an AIO with mixed metals video at like roughly two minutes and 30 seconds. He takes a box of the Titan RTX from his desk and put it on the back. And then we also have what looks like, I can't say this one for sure because I'm not exactly clear on this one. Gamers Nexus also has the Titan RTX in the background of their shot from their latest hardware news video. You can see it down at the bottom right there. It's interesting because everybody's leaking it in nearly the exact exact same way. Everybody's showing it off as in a, oh, it's here, but it's not really, we're not going to say what this is. It's just, you know, here's a Titan RTX, no big deal, but we're not actually going to call it that. It's there, which it's not uncommon for there to be un unboxing embargoes and NVIDIA dictating the release of when it can be posted to social media, but it's just odd that everybody's doing it in the exact same way. I've seen cries on different forums saying that this is a paid marketing campaign. I'm not sure it would be. Technically, it could be paid product placement, which I don't know how is supposed to be disclosed on YouTube, but it also doesn't, like Jay's Two Cents, Gamers Nexus, and Linus Tech Tips don't strike me as the type of channels that just do that kind of stuff undisclosed. Linus is actually really good about disclosing his sponsors, and then Steve also calls out people for taking sponsors like that all of the time. So I'm not gonna jump on the bandwagon of saying that this is a paid marketing stunt, but it does feel like this is a coordinated effort by Nvidia to get hype building around their card this way since they benefited from the hype machine for their 20 series cards. Now it's time to start that for the Titan, which nobody's gonna buy because it's gonna be so gosh dang expensive. So let's get on into that part of the story. So while there have been leaked images of this card on social media, there hasn't been much in the way of actual leak specs, so we don't know how it's gonna perform. There is a page on Tech Power Up, which happens to be a placeholder page, which is guessing that it's gonna be basically an RTX 2080 Ti with one more gigabyte of memory, a few more CUDA cores, a few more Tensa cores, and 
four more ray tracing cores, which is gonna be basically negligible as far as performance difference. It's of course going to be the best card on the market, but it's not gonna beat a 2080 Ti by any large strex. 4,608 CUDA cores to 4,352, 68 ray tracing cores on the 2080 Ti to the 72 that would be on the Titan RTX if the tensor core mount is correct because there's eight tensor cores for every single ray tracing core. So effectively, we're getting the best card to ever come out in just a pro presumably very soon. If all of these reviewers have them in their hands, that means that we're likely going to get reviews soon. And this seems to be something that is coming out inevitably, imminently. That's the word I'm looking for. But the main thing that I want to talk about here, as I did mention at the beginning of the video, is the fact that all of this points to the fact that NVIDIA just jacked up the price for us. So this is something that I discussed at length about when the 20 series first actually launched like two and a half months ago, which is the fact that NVIDIA was just jacking up the price. That was my perspective. However, we had plenty of you guys in the comments saying, no, this is just the replacement for the Titan. The 2080 Ti is just gonna be so gosh dang expensive because uh, you know it replaces the Titan. I heard Jay's Two Cents put this out there, which then led to a lot of people adopting that point of view. And then I saw it, it, was, it was everywhere. It was rampant on the internet. All they did was take the Titan card and rename it 80 Ti, which is why it's available on day one. However, the point is, that wasn't happening. And from my perspective, I knew that wasn't happening. NVIDIA was just charging more for a technology that they're introducing that they have no actual support for. And here we are nearly three months after the initial announcement of these cards with only one game that actually supports it. There's going to be a ray tracing benchmark that's coming out on the 8th at Galaxy's overclocking event, but then there's nothing else on the market that supports ray tracing. We have Battlefield 5 where you get 60 FPS with the 2080 Ti, you're probably gonna get like 65 FPS with the Titan. And Shadow of the Tomb Raider doesn't have it. And all of the other games are in the future as far as what's going to be supporting ray tracing. So we have cards that cost a lot more than the previous generation with the pricing increase justified to many in the minds by the fact that oh this is going to be the new titan skew so this is going to be this i'm getting a titan for 1200 dollars. i'm not getting a 1080 ti replacement that's what you got you got you got a 1080 ti replacement for 1200 dollars. so instead of the 700 dollars price tag it's now 500 dollars more for barely that much more in performance and even the ray tracing that you want just doesn't exist so you're paying a whole lot more for barely more performance and nvidia has clearly showed that they are capable of raising prices and while we don't have that much sales data coming out on how the 20 series has performed it's clear that it's enough that people are still buying it one of the things that could be happening is that Nvidia could be launching the Titan RTX to help justify the price decrease that they're gonna bring with the RTX 20 series but I doubt that's going to happen. They could price the Titan at $1,200 and shift everything down because I think that's kind of what they have to be doing in order to get more people to adopt the 20 series card, which is inevitably going to have to happen if they want ray tracing to take off in any way, shape or form, because that's the only way you're going to get mass adoption for game developers to actually want to implement it into their game and give it to the masses is that the masses are actually on the platform that can use it. But this is something that I was pretty concerned with and think was actually happening from the very beginning with the launch of these cards. Nvidia was setting a new precedent. They were setting a new standard. The price that they're introducing here is going to be the pricing going forward and that we're going to have super expensive cards from here on out and that's just the way it goes. And that's how they're gonna have to combat the fact that they're losing out sales on mining is that they're going to have to jack up the price because when you lose in volume, the only way that you maintain in profit is by jacking up the actual cost of the product itself. One of the arguments that could be made for NVIDIA's side is that tensor cores are wicked expensive, ray tracing cores as well, and so they have to introduce that cost to the consumer, which is totally fine. I can understand that, especially since the previous Titan V cost $3,000, and the only thing that had was tensor cores. So it stands to reason that tensor cores do cost a lot of money, and that's what NVIDIA is introducing here. However, if that is the case, I think that the RTX 20 series, as it stands right now, shouldn't exist. NVIDIA didn't need to launch these. They still have the performance crown. They still had everything going for them. They still have an overstock of cards. There was no reason that they had to release the 20 series cards when they did, except for fanboys like you and me were actually begging for them to release new cards. Except, you know, this is like the monkey paw thing where we, we begged for new graphics cards and instead what we got were new graphics cards that nobody could afford and nobody could use their actual features. So that's amazing. 
I think the fact that NVIDIA is launching the brand new Titan RTX is a clear indication that they only anticipated to screw us over from the beginning and charge an insane price for their cards, and that's the way it's going to stand from here on out. And yes, I do understand the arguments that this is a free system, this is capitalism at its best, and you can't charge a price for a product if people aren't willing to pay it, and that this is just the market, and so you shouldn't complain about it. I get that, I understand it, I like I can appreciate the fact that that is true. If there is a market for it, the price is the price. However, I don't necessarily think that's what's actually going on right now, just like in the case of the mining cards being super expensive, that was the market at work. So when the 1080 Ti was actually costing $1,200, that was market forces at work because it showed that people were willing to pay it $1,200 for a 1080 Ti because they thought they could pay it off because they were using it for cryptocurrency mining. However, with Nvidia's pricing, that's not an open market. That's a dictated price. They're saying this is the price. That's not an open market price. The open market price is what everybody else under no constraints is actually selling them for, which we don't have enough evidence of because they're still too fresh, but I'm pretty sure that the RTX 2080 Ti by its very nature is not worth $1,200 to most people. And therefore that's why I'm upset with the current market price. Not because I'm upset with capitalism, but because I think that this isn't capitalism, this is just them dictating the price. Just like when you buy a ticket to a football game, you pay one specific price, but then you can scalp it for five times as much on the black market because that's the actual economic forces at play, not the price that you actually get from the box office. Same thing with the cards here. Just because Nvidia dictates this price doesn't mean that is the market price. That means that Nvidia has said that this is the market price, which I don't agree with. I think it's total crap and I think the price needs to come down because they're giving us barely any more performance for a whole heck of a lot more money and it's just a stupid card for that very reason. It's unconsumer friendly in that vein. And that's my perspective on it. Hopefully you guys uh, got something out of this. Uh, so I wanna open up the discussion to all of you. What do you think? Let me know, are you on the side of, wow, this actually shatters what I thought, or yeah, no, this is NVIDIA. Of course, they're gonna charge a whole buttload of money from things that I, like that's, that's who they are. So eat that. Anyways, I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it, get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.